Hey, it's Pete from Abstract Ocean. Today we're installing rocker protection film for the Model 3 Highland. Um, so this is PPF that goes in this area here. If you've ever owned a Tesla, then you'll know that this area in particular is quite exposed um, and the paint typically is fairly soft. So um, we sell a PPF kit to solve that problem. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So what you're going to get is two, um, actually there's four, well technically four pieces of PPF. So for the video I'm using the satin PPF. This is not what you'll be sent. You'll be sent gloss. The whole point of this is that you don't see it once it's installed. Um, just using the satin because it's a little easier to pick up on the video. So um, you get left and right set. Um, and then there's two pieces. So you have the main piece that goes above the door. And then you have another piece that goes below the weld line. Um, and the reason we have this separated out is you really can't apply PPF over that weld line. It's fairly inconsistent, um, and you'll eventually get dirt coming in on the on the uh, sort of leading edge. So we want to avoid that. So you get the PPF, you get a squeegee, you get a slip solution. It already has the concentrate in there, so just um, add water, and then that's good to go. And then the only other thing you'll need to supply is a shop rag or something just to kind of clear up the, the slip solution once you've got it applied. So with that, let's get to the car and get it done. Okay, so that's the orientation of it. So you've got one piece that fits here, again above this weld line, which runs along here, and then a piece that fits below there. So we're going to start with the larger piece, the top piece. Prep the area. So this car is already clean. If it's not, be sure to clean the area you're applying it to. This is important for PPF. Um, and you can use the soap solution, which is what this is, the slip solution, um, just to kind of wipe it down as well but make sure there's no dirt or grit um, and ideally no kind of ceramic or anything like that because that'll inhibit the adhesion of the, the PPF. It will stick eventually, but it won't stick very well. So there's that. Again, we're using the satin PPF just so it shows up on video. You will be getting gloss. This is Expel PPF. Pretty much, if not the best in the world. It's the only PPF that we sell for any of our kits. Okay, so you can see pretty much as soon as you put it on there, it just floats into the right spot. You still have to shuffle it around a bit. So you can see that it moves around very freely. Um, if that's not doing it for you, then you need to peel it back and just apply a little bit more um, of the slip solution. And we're gonna line it up on sort of three areas. So the first one is over here by the wheel wheel. You want to make sure that you're not wrapping it around the radius because that'll eventually lift and then um, you'll get dirt under there. So you want to stay away from the absolute edge, but you want to be fairly close to it as well. So that's really quite quite well positioned there. Then we're going to look down along this line, make sure that's good. Same thing, you don't want it going sort of rolling over the edge because it's not designed to. It's meant to stay on this sort of uh, outside plane. Um, and if you roll it over the edge again, you'll start collecting grime there eventually. And then the last bit you want to look at, this weld line. This, this kind of wobbles all over the place on this Model 3. It's probably on all of them. So just make sure you're, you're fairly clear of that as well. So with that, we're going to get a squeegee. We're going to kind of get down to eye level. And just, just to get started, we're going to get most of the, the fluid out. You can see it's very easy to work with. If you find there's an area that's just not releasing for whatever reason, then peel it back, spray it, and um, just go again. You know, for the whole application process, the, the PPF is very easy to, to work with. You can peel it off without, you know, obviously be careful, but you can peel it off without stretching it or anything else. a little bit out there. And that's the first bit done. Let me grab a rag. Again, I want to emphasize, just in case you skipped the part of the video where I mentioned it, we're using satin PPF just for the video. You will be getting gloss PPF. So once applied for you guys, 
it will be completely um, invisible. But you still want to focus on making sure there's no trapped fluid. Um, and once you've completed the installation, which ideally you're doing in a fairly temperate setting, so between um, uh, about 16 to 20, uh, sorry, yeah, 16 to 27 Celsius, or you know, between 60 and 80 um, Fahrenheit. And if you can't do that, then be sure to let the car sit after you've completed the installation for at least a day um, before taking out in you know, kind of angry weather. Okay, now we're going to do the bottom strip. Very much repeated the process. Just peel off the, the PPF off the backer. If you didn't already, then you should have washed your hands before doing this, just to, so you don't transfer any oils to the back of the PPF. And of course, spray under here as well. Uh, and once you remove this, it's not a perfect rectangle, so you do want to make sure you know which end goes this way, the leading edge. It is the fatter edge if you do lose track of things, but it's fairly, fairly subtle. All right, we're just going to place that. You can see it just kind of instantly sort of attaches itself to the surface. It's really quite, quite satisfying. And then you do need to get down on the floor for this. So again, we're looking at this trailing edge making sure that it's away from the, the turn on the wheel. And then we're looking at this weld line that runs across here. You want it below that, of course. And then there's another weld line at the bottom, or maybe it's just a panel, panel line, but um, you should be well clear of that. But again, just make sure. Um, I don't think you'll be able to see this on camera, but it sort of turns up at the end here. So the vinyl follows that, uh, sorry, the PPF follows that. Um, but just be sure that you're not um, taking the PPF over or anything other than a nice contoured um, surface. Still see a bit of fluid up there. You can't squeegee this enough, so you know, obviously, I'm kind of rushing through this a little bit for video, but you take your time. very easy install and this is money well spent because it really does protect this area very well. You will not regret that. And there you have it. Again, this is a satin. You'll be getting gloss just using this for the video, but that's how you install the rocker panels on your Model 3 Highland. Thank you for watching.